Okay, hi everyone, welcome back and in this video we are going to check out Quant's price chart and see what is going on in terms of Elliott Waves, classic technical analysis and also indicators. Now, if you are a newer, as per usual in every single video about Quant, I need to tell you that the long term scenario in my opinion in terms of Elliott Waves is absolutely bullish because in here i think we are having one two three four five wave up into a wave one and then correction for wave two and after our correction is over we are going to get a huge move up into wave three and four and five and just a minimum target for this wave three in my opinion is going to be setting an all-time high and taking the highest high in this area about let's say 450 dollars so in the long term we are definitely bullish and by the way no just because I put the end of this wave 5 to somewhere around 4.5k doesn't mean that we're going to go. No, these are just to show the general patterns. Now, let's go on H4 time frame and see what is going on in this area. So, here is the situation. If you want to argue that we are going to have our final bottom around this area and maybe this is going to be like a very important support, okay, off of it, you need to be able to find a 5 wave on the upside. This is a very, very important point. And based on that, if I just go around this region, there we go. So, this is the lowest low in Quant's price chart, about $40. And what do we have off of it? A 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 wave up, sure, but on a high degree, I think this is actually into a wave A, and then we are having correction for wave B and another 5 up into our C. So, basically, because we are having an ABC on the upside off of the lowest low in QNT and not an impulsive movement, in my opinion, this means at one point we are going to get a move down, maybe in an attempt to set new lows and take the lowest low in this area about $40. But does this mean that from the current point we're gonna get a move down? Maybe not. You see, I can tell you, well, okay, this is going to be according to this scenario, ABC up into a wave W and then we may have an A, B, C on the downside into wave X and followed by that we may get another move up into our wave Y and in this move we may not set an all time high and take the highest high in here about $400 but a lucky target for this thing can be taking this high right in here about let's say $230 so at the moment I would like to go with this scenario that suggests before we get a move down and set new lows, we might actually get another solid move on the upside in QNT, and most likely that move is going to be in form of another ABC zigzag, which makes this whole pattern a WXY in form of a double zigzag. Now, does this mean that from the current point we're going to get a move up? Let's go on some lower time frames and see what is happening. So. If we remember, the last time that we talked about Quant, we were somewhere around these areas and I said, okay, for two very important reasons, it's actually, in my opinion, a bit too soon to be bullish in Quant. Reason number one was because of classic technical analysis, meaning support and resistances, and the fact that we were somewhere around this very, very important resistance between, let's say, 75 and a half to about 79 and a half dollars. And we said, as long as we're not seeing Quant getting a solid break of this level, in my opinion, it is going to be way too soon to be bullish. This was reason number one. Reason number two was because of Elliott's fix. You see, earlier in the video, we said, if you want to say, again, we are going to have our final bottom around this region, you need to be able to find off of it a 5 wave on the upside. And in terms of the sub waves, we should have 5 up into wave 1 three and five let's just draw the waves there we go and this is going to be our final five wave into wave five and for corrections for wave two and four we can have different patterns so let's say a b c d e a triangle into four and sure an a b c a structure into wave two and this is why exactly in the previous video we said it's a bit too soon to be bullish in quant because in this area before this move down we just had this five wave on the upside and also this one and to me it meant well okay chances are that this pattern is going to be actually an a b c zigzag on the upside and not an impulsive movement and we said okay if you want to say that we are actually bullish in quant you might be able to say that this is a five up into one correction for wave two and let's put the end of our wave three and four and five in here and you might say, well, okay, this is another one or two, but on a lower degree, and this five up is going to be into wave three, and then after it, a correction for four, and we said, look, 
if you want to be bullish in quant you need to see at least another solid move up into this wave 5 in order to complete the sub waves for this larger degree wave 3 and then after the correction for another move up into wave 5 and at that point well okay we completed this 5 wave on the upside which is fantastic and also in terms of classic ta meaning supports and resistances well okay we are going to be above this very very important resistance area which is going to be another very important bullish confirmation and we said as long as you're not seeing this pattern in quants playing out it is again a bit too soon to be bullish so what happened as you can see not only we didn't get this move up we got a solid move on the left side now here is the situation the invalidation point for the bullish scenario that we talked about earlier is going to be taking this low right in here about let's say 68 dollars and right now the lowest low in here is going to be about 69 bucks and you need to wait a bit more and see this move up continue and then it we take this low right in here if we do this at that point we are going to say look this is actually an a b c on the upside and not an impulsive movement off of the lowest low and it means our move down in quant most likely is actually going to continue and in this move we are going to at least at least take the lowest line here about 64 dollars for the first target so right now in my opinion quant doesn't really look necessarily the best and let's zoom in a bit more in here there we go you see this shadow doesn't actually exist in other charts and if you want to ignore it you can argue that this is going to be from this high one two three four five wave down into maybe wave one and then a correction structure into wave two to about here and let's put the end of our wave three and four and five in here there we go you can say that this is going to be one two and right now we might be on our way to have a solid move down into wave three and four and five which is going to be the sub waves for this larger degree wave three and then another move up into wave four and followed by that yes another move on the downside into wave five and again in this move according to this scenario we are going to take the lowest low in this area but again just to make sure that this scenario is going to be in play and we are still going to remain bearish in qnt maybe it's best to wait just a bit more and see quant taking this low right in here about let's say 68 68 and a half dollars so Right now, again, we are looking very much bearish in QNT. Now, what is going on in terms of indicators? Let's zoom in a bit more. There we go. Let's actually hide everything. Okay. What do we have? As you can see, we are having a sell signal in MACD, which is a bearish sign that suggests maybe our move down is actually not over yet. But in stock RSI, we are having a buy signal. So I think we can definitely get another move up in Quant This is definitely a possibility. But again, before this move up if we get a continuation of this move down and reach to somewhere around 68 bucks that is going to be a very important confirmation that suggests whatever move that we are going to have in this region is just going to be a correction structure and after it's over we are going to get another move down in our time to take the low slow in this area about 64 dollars and in daily time frame what is happening okay so this is actually not a good sign because we are having a confirmed sell signal in stock rsi and in macd we are also getting a sell signal as well which is definitely a bearish sign in qnt but pay attention to the fact that this sell signal in macd right now at least is not confirmed yet you need to wait until the end of the day and at that point if we are still going to have this thing you can argue with quite a bit more confidence that most probably our move down is actually going to continue for quite a bit so for now in my opinion in quant we're not looking necessarily the best and we're not seeing the best signs and chances are this move down is going to continue but just to make sure that we are still bearish maybe wait a bit more and see qnt taking this low right in here in this move down about let's say 68 68 and a half dollars so i hope i explained everything well and you understood what is going on in quant's price chart anyway if you found any value in my content i would really appreciate if you like this video and consider subscribing to my channel and follow me on twitter and if you want more maybe you want a complete analysis for your own specific crypto or maybe you want to learn some solid ta in order to be able to make good money in the markets you can become a member and ask me anything you want and i hope you have a wonderful day goodbye